it's your girl Miss Fluffy back with another video back with another video for today's video I'll be making Jamaican patsy Jamaican beef and cheese patty the two of them I do today my love cheese patty my love beef patty so why not the both of them who can't tell me no nobody can tell me no <laughs> alright guys so if you guys want to see how I do my Jamaican patty or oh, make it Stay tuned. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Jamaican pate. All right, guys. So first thing first, you're gonna need some all-purpose flour. I'm gonna add some baking powder in mine. A stick of butter. Cold butter. Some salt, I have one cup of water to work with at the moment, and some turmeric. Let me just add some flour in here. I'm not making that much, so right here it's about two cups. Yep, looks like about two cups. I'm gonna add some salt in here. Nice and beautiful salt. Yes, sorry. Can't get no wrong. Oh, you know, let me add some more salt in there. A little bit of baking powder. Just a dab. You don't want too much. And I'm going to add some turmeric in here. Yeah, I think that's good. This is what's going to give it its color. So I can get the light right. That's when that's what's gonna give it its color. You could also use curry powder. You can use curry powder if you want to. I'm just breaking this butter. I'm gonna use this much. Hold up, hold up. There you go. That much. I'm gonna add a little bit. Just a tad bit more flour. Right. So I'm gonna just mash the butter in there to incorporate it. Mash, mash, mash. Okay, hold on. Yeah, this is much better. You can use lard if you want to. For the regular, I'm using uh, salted butter. You can use unsalted if you want to. Just make sure you add a good amount of salt to replace that. Whoa, 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 yes. Yeah, mom, this looks good enough. <laughs> get down and dirty. Ain't no, ain't no way around this. You gotta get in there and show the flower. Show them who's boss. All right. So after I mix that up, I'm just pouring one cup of water in here. One cup. Let's mix that around. <laughs> oh man, oh man. What you can do if it's too, ooh, if it's too moist, Always going to add more flour. Mix up that. Way too moist. Don't <laughs> don't use one cup of don't use one cup of water. So we're trying to form this dough. We ain't we don't want no sticky sticky dough. Want it well formed up. All right, guys. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna finish kneading this dough. And I'm gonna get back with y'all. Lego. All right, guys. So I just finished kneading the dough. Make the dough. No, say me run things. What's it like then? There you go. Me run. You see? You see this guy? It's still soft and moist. You know why you do it for tough? Even though my, even though I added. More flour in there, still nice and moist and soft. So you want the thing set 
Not up. Don't. <laughs> don't add one cup of water in there. Just add a little bit and then gradually mix it in. So you find that perfect consistency, or you will be adding in more flour in there, like what I did. So I'm just put the lid over that. Put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour. So let's get started on the ground beef part. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm gonna cut up my veggies. I have some green pepper. I got some yellow bell pepper. I have some onion, scallion, or green onion. Some habanero. Just a tiny little piece of ginger. Some garlic clove. And a tomato. I'm gonna cut them big because I'm gonna blend them up. I like to get this in here. I'm just blend them up so you don't have to cut them too tiny. I just cut off the tip of that and the back. I'm gonna just like this. Four big old pieces. I'm not even gonna cut up these because they'll do the magic. Cut these up like that. Yeah, man. Make sure you cook up this all day. Already rinse these off. Let me know uh, which patty are your favorite from which uh, company. If you like tasties, juicy beef, or mothers. Let me know in the comments. For me, <laughs> I definitely, definitely love tasties. Every chance I get, I make sure I go there. Love them beef patty. But my favorite are cheese patty. Can't go wrong with cheese patty. Cheese patty is everything. Alright. It don't um it don't matter if these little seeds get in there. It won't make a difference. Let me just cut off that. Cut up your onion. Make your onion new or all wrong things. You see these right here? Make sure you cut off the tip. That's way if you want. That's a stem. You don't want that. You don't want that. That don't make until make sure you mash up this. Mash it up. Make them know say yeah. And me, I do this on your so. Jamaican patty. Think turn up. If y'all don't like spicy, try not to put the seed in there. I'm just use this small amount. I'm just throw it right in here. I'm gonna add my garlic, clove, my ginger, piece of ginger, my tomato and bell peppers, my onion, scallion, everything that I dash up in this. So I'm gonna blend it up the right way. Right away, I'm gonna say. Oh, I'm gonna force everything up in here. No room for error. <laughs> oh man. All right, guys, I'm gonna blend this up and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, so um, I got my ground beef in here. Right now, the temperature is on high. Put this on high. You don't need no oil, so you don't know. The ground beef is greasy, 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 greasy. You don't want that. Yeah, man, so I'm gonna cover this up and let it cook so you see that nice brownness, that beautiful brown color. We don't want no pink around here. You hear me? We don't want no pink. Everything must be brown and beautiful. All right, guys, I'm gonna cover this up and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna add some turmeric in here. It's brown enough, just a little bit. And I'm gonna add some of my Jamaican jerk seasoning. I'm using the mild flavor. They want too much to bring these over here. And my favorite, I add some adobo in here. And 
my Creole seasoning. Remember, you want this to be well flavored, well seasoned up. Yeah, man, that's a roll. Yummy. See, I don't have a food processor. I just use my blender. I just added some water in there. You, I'm gonna use half of this. You can freeze the rest. It's a, don't mind that. Don't worry. I remember. It's all beautiful flavor and that. So that's all the tomato, the bell pepper, the scallion, the ginger, the garlic. That's everything right here. I think I'm gonna add some more. Oh yes, yes. And that's some more adobo. So I'm gonna just cover this up and let it cook. And I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this has been cooking for about five. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> that cooked about five minutes now. It's fun that to look beautiful. Yum. I know it looks like curry ground uh, ground beef. But I'm gonna add wait till there. Yeah, I'm gonna add some browning in here to give it that brownness we all know and love. And I'm gonna add some ketchup in here. And use whatever ketchup you have. It doesn't matter. The ketchup. And I'm going to add some breadcrumbs. This is like about one cup. So the ketchup and breadcrumbs is going to help them thicken this up. So mix that around. Oh, yes. Oh, damn. You see that? Already thickened it up. So let's pick it up better. Angle on that. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna continue mixing this up. I'm gonna cut down the temperature to about medium so it can continue cooking. Yeah, man. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, here it is. Beautiful. You see that thickness? This is what you want. You see that? Beautiful. The more breadcrumbs you put in there, the thicker and the more volume this will have. If you don't want that much, use half a cup or just a little bit. So the seed thing, I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to transfer it to something else. I'm going to let it cool down. And then we can get this thing popping. Get this thing rolling. Let it right back. All right, guys. So my dough been sitting for about an hour or two. So I'm gonna just work with half of it right now. Just cut that down there. Here you go. I'll use the bigger half. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna add some flour. I'm gonna add some flour at the bottom of this. Because you don't want your dough to stick. You don't want it to stick. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just press it out a little bit. Fold it over. Press it out some more. We're trying to get that flakiness. Fold it over some more. The flakier the better. Okay, you know when you buy a pot in them, full of flake. Just everywhere. Whole place mess up. Your whole clothes mess up. <laughs> Everything mess up. Yeah, man. Everything mess up. I'm gonna put some hold on. Put some more. On the pin. Roll that out, you know. Roll that out. Ja. Ja. Is standing by my side. <laughs> Bless up. One time, fold that over. Ray. Turn up in this. Turn up in that. Pull that, press that in, yes. Can't tell me nothing, you know. Can't tell me nothing. I'm gonna cut this in four. Yes. 
You see that bomba? Yeah, man. Hold on. You see that gray? Taught the things then. Cut that again. Cut that like that. Yes. See them then. Roll this bad boy out. Roll that tote. First, roll, roll. Don't make this thing run you. Yeah, you remember I said? Come on, don't know. You don't know it, though. You run things. Things are on you. <laughs> yeah, man. This thing can roll on rotted. Let me know oh, which part you know like better. Yeah, man, this I use up all of my strength. I have to roll it out nice. Nice and lovely. Yeah, man, this me I talk about, you know. Yes, man. Jamaican party, my way. My way, I and I will. Got I and I. I and I run things. Oh yeah, this looks nice. Roll it out. You don't want it too thin, and you don't want it too thick. Right on the temperature, they're about 350. So that I preheat up right now. Oh, I'm gonna roll them out, you know. Roll up, roll up. Hold on, let me get this thing over here, sir. <laughs> get this. All right, so I'm gonna just use this bowl. Just put it right, even though, hold on, I'm gonna put some more. Even though it looks pretty round to me. Looks pretty good already. You don't know you want me to have to make me forget me authentic. Authentic. <laughs> authentic Jamaican party. So I'm going to just uh, cut this. Go around town. Cut this, you know. Yes, Ja. Ja run things. Yes. Take this off. Save this for later for something else. Oh yes! <laughs> that look turned up. You see that? That look beautiful. Can I get the better than that? Hold on. Put that flower. I mean, I want that stick up. Yeah, man. So this, I put this in the fridge to cool down, so it can cool down quicker instead of having it sit up. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna just put a little bit in there. And I want it ooze out out the side. You don't want that. But you want your party fluffy. Just <laughs> fluffy, just like me. Yeah man. Talk the things then. Ray. Yum yum yum. First time I met this, you think it it look good to me already, you know? No lie. Like, I'm gonna just make some, um, just some plain beef, and I'm gonna make some with uh, cheese. Let me tell you, so just flip this over, Ray. press that down, press that down, you know that, rotted, ray, ray. Then make a come in with my fork, just clip. Rap, rap, ray. Just like that. Nobody can't tell you nothing. You see them things eh? I see you know, yo, you ever met this party? No, say. You're not comfy player. You're comfy devour this and make this right. Yes, yes, baby. <laughs> Alright, guys, so I'm gonna put this uh, on my little parchment. Uh, Pin bin 
pun, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to roll this one out. Roll this other one out. I wonder what I'm going to do with my leftover flour. <laughs> Knowing me, where me mad, my fry them up. Make some yellow dumpling. <laughs> fry them up, make some yellow boy dumpling. Yo. And only, only know the madness. The madness that I be doing. I just show y'all the actual put together stuff. But me, let me I do my thing, you know. Just know. Their mad combination. I'm going to put together. And then turn out good. Good up. Good up by anything. Yeah, man. Roll this out. Roll the one there. Roll, roll, roll. Roll your boat. Roll your boat. Roll your boat out, out. It all. Roll this out. Let me get my cheese. Let me get the cheese, y'all. Hold on. Ah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boo, zoo, zoo, zoo. Boo, zoo, All right. So I'm going to use a sliced cheese and I'm going to add some Italian style. That's just the oven. That tell me say ready for me. But you, you got a whole long oven. When me ready for you, me I go going to you. Things don't work like that, you know. Ready when me ready, not when you ready, son. I and I Rasta. <laughs> oh man, I wonder how I look with drinks. Thought about it. I wonder if I should follow through on it. If y'all know, y'all know I ain't got no hair. I just have a little bit of hair. But not a little bit, it's growing in. So I'm just cut this. You can use a pie cutter if you want to, if you have one. But me not have one. So, this will do just fine, just fine. Oh, yes. Um, so, look at that flower. Flip this over. Yes. So, coming back with this. Put that pan that. Yeah, mom. You know what I was gonna do? I was also gonna have uh, add some um, corned beef in here. I love corned beef. Corned beef, I can eat that with anything. So if you have corned beef, you can add it with your ground beef. I feel like it'll taste bum, diggity, bum, bum. It would taste amazing. So I'm just getting the cheese ready. Put a piece of cheese this so. With piece of cheese, yes, so white cheese. Not out, I, I, I only have white cheese, I only have the Italian style, so I'm gonna just put a little bit over it. But typically, yellow cheese, American cheese, fold that over. Yeah, my, you see that thick? No, sir, that too fluffy for me. Ah, there you go, sure, you see that. Yeah, man, the cheese has stick out, but no, sir. Press that, press that, press that down. Ray, press it down to your can, press it down no more. Yeah, man, a party thing, you say, no? Nobody can tell me nothing. Nobody can tell me nothing. Party around this place. You hear me? Yo, patty on cocoa bread. Make sure you guys eat cocoa bread with your patty. And a box juice. Yeah, man. Remind me back in the day, y'all taste this. Go buy your patty. Let me know where y'all buy your patty from. Right now, you know, I had to get adjusted to the, the patty that they sell at Walmart in the freezer section. At first somebody I said, no sir, 
This is not Jamaican style patty. This don't taste nothing like no Jamaican patty. This this thing that tastes right. And I know we'll not try it, man. But <laughs> after a while, you start getting used to it. Until you go back home to your country. I'm like, yo, I don't think that my dad's fine on them. No, sir. This is not the right thing. Man, you don't know where things are going. All right, I'm going to just uh, speed this section up. Alright guys, so these bad boys are finished, so I'm just put them in the oven. I just added some egg yolks on top of this, mixed with some water. So I'm going to put it in the oven and let it do its thing. Let it cook up nice and lovely. You hear me? Can't wait for showing the finished product. So come back in. Alright guys, this is it. They were in the oven for about 35 minutes. Remember, the beef is already cooked. We're basically just cooking the dough. Wow, definitely got to cut into this. Bring this light over one more. Yeah, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. And definitely, y'all need to really make this because it's amazing. It looks amazing. I'm going to taste it for y'all in a few minutes. Yeah, mommy, you see that? Don't know. Alright, guys. So, one thing left for me to do is to taste it. See, they all up in night. You see that steam? Yes. Yes. Woo. Woo. Yeah, man. Woo. Hot. Ooh. Ooh. I cool that down in the cars. Ooh. The bunny up. Ah. Hmm. 
Mm. You can definitely taste them. All the butter on the crust. Oh, shit, hot. <laughs> See that light? Yeah, man. The crust is crispy. Not in a bad way, but it's pretty good. A little crispier than usual, but that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Oh no. Oh no. We gotta get that off. Mm mm. What am I, a savage or something? Not in the. Mm mm. Oh. Can't take me nowhere. Cause I'm gonna embarrass you in the restaurant. <laughs> Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share. And subscribe to my channel. For more awesomeness. Bye.